So I'm here at the Aberdeen Center. This is, uh, I guess, Canada's first Asian mall or Asian style mall. It was uh, started by Thomas Fung of Fairchild Development. And yeah, it's extremely successful. The centerpiece is this like mini Bellagio fountain. And they always decorate it with some kind of something every year or every month. Today it looks like panda. Yep, panda themes. An interesting thing about Thomas Fung. See, uh, I used to do actually do some work for him uh, when I, back when I had a regular bricks and mortars business. I ran a print shop, and Thomas actually ordered some rubber stamps for me. So uh, I, I produced it, went to deliver it to his office, and then as I delivered to his office, I asked him, I gave it to him, and I said, Thomas, can I, can I ask you a question? And he goes, Sure. I go, Why didn't you order the rubber stamp from your own print shop? And he goes. I have a print shop. You see, the thing about Thomas Fung, he owns, I mean, he knows his main enterprise. He knows Aberdeen Center. He knows Fairchild Management. He knows his uh, his radio stations, and he knows his real estate stuff. But he owns so many businesses, like Daiso, uh, and all these other businesses. But he doesn't keep track of some of the smaller businesses, and he just relies on managers and uh, partners to handle that. And he did not actually know that he owned a print shop. And because of the, he didn't know that, he actually called me up to actually make a rubber stamp when he could have just saved himself some money and got it from his own print shop for free. But instead, he ended up paying, uh, oh, not that much, but still. It was an interesting, interesting story. Let's check out the Wi-Fi speed here at the Aberdeen Center. Let's see what we got. I can tell right now it's going to be very slow. It's trying to connect. Hmm. Error. Test fail. Please check your connection. Try again. Shake it, shake it, shake it, baby. Vancouver is heavily influenced by Hong Kong, and one of the uh, great things that Hong Kong brought to us was bubble tea. That's right, bubble tea. And whenever I'm in back in Vancouver, I make sure I get me a bubble tea, because uh, other than Hong Kong. Vancouver is the only place that actually makes good bubble tea. This is the honeydew bubble tea. It, I know, I expect it to be green, but it's not green. It's, it's an unusual bubble tea color. I guess it's like the white honeydew. Not that good. Not sweet at all. It tastes like water. You sure you got this order right? It's terrible. Sally tried it. It's absolutely ridiculously bad. I demand a brand new one. Yeah, that's not honeydew at all. I don't know what I don't know what they made. It tastes like honeydew. Yeah, it, it, it's like the essence of honeydew, not honeydew. Oh well. Yeah, normally, thank you is a place to get bubble tea, but I guess not today. At least, how's your cookies and cream bubble tea? Oh, it's very good. You, you like it, it's Sally? Not a it's not a bubble tea or whatever shake it is. It's a slushy. It's a slushy. They okay. They raised the price too. And they raised the price? Wow. It used to be $4.75. So it went from $4.75 to what? $5. $5? Damn it, they raised it a quarter. All right, so you got the last five bread papa. Bread papa is right over there. Yeah, bread papa is right over there. And they're, they're world famous. And, and yeah, if you can find them, there's usually always a big lineup for it. But uh, yeah, apparently they all sold out today, huh? So you got the last five. Yeah. I, I don't really care for them. I, I, don't, I don't know what's the big deal about these things. They're so good. They're, they're just creamy. They're just like, basically, yeah, I'll show you. They're just cream-filled puffs. That's what they are. They're cream-filled puffs is all they are. Like I said, I don't know what the, the big deal is with this thing, so I'll try it. I mean, it's okay. It doesn't blow me over. Oh, 
Uh, one of those things that you just can't figure out. Oh, okay. Did what you did you get? What you got? Got a crepe? Yep. Oh my God! You are not gonna be have you're not gonna have I'm dinner. Gonna have dinner I mean, yeah, slushies, crepe. Now we we just had lunch, and now you're getting a crepe. I got a strawberry. Strawberry. Brownie. Looks like fudge. I and Sally's got a good. You know, we still have dinner. No, I only really eat like Yeah, well. Definitely taking advantage of this uh, food court here at the Albany Center. What is unique about an Asian mall? is there are no anchors like all the shops are basically all this size all small shop like there's no there's no sears or a big retailer to anchor the mall down basically everything's like this